I know why you're here. That girl doesn't belong in jail. Oh, say that. Look, I don't expect someone like you to agree with this, but what that girl needs is, is help. You think that's a bad thing? Please don't do that. Judge you? I'm not judging you. I'm just disagreeing with you. You came here to talk, didn't you? To get me to try to convince Cal to change his mind? Megan Cross has ruined Thomas Fletcher's life. He's never gonna recover from those allegations, false or not. Lightman's not a cop, Detective. No. He's a pain in the arse. You know you take that as a compliment, don't you? Are you sure he's not doing all this just so he can write about it in his book? We should be so lucky. Hey, Lightman wants me to discredit Mrs. Phillips. Foster already confirmed she was telling the truth. Yeah, well, he says that she's an old woman with messed up vision. No, he wants you to do it. Us. No, you. I get it. And statistically speaking, Foster's voice and speech analysis is more accurate than Okay, my... do you want to tell him, or should I? Or should we just do as he asks? You mean mess with an old woman's head? Lightman mentioned change blindness. And you have no idea what that is. Which is why you came running to me. <clears throat> Beg. Oh, aye, aye. I heard Jim and his sons are talking again. Yeah. Jim's been talking about you and all. Mom's a bird. That's what I'm afraid of. Uh, there's a mouse trap in Lightman's office. Do we even have mice? Okay, I don't know if you've heard, but Lightman has been acting a little sketchy the past 12 hours. We do realize he's looking at six months in that place if we don't find out what happened and why. And all for naught. What do you mean? I hacked that. It's Wayne Dobar's file. Model patient if you don't count the four assaults on other patients this year. Dr. Foster? Colette. Is everything okay? Yeah, I, um, I just wanted to come by and say thank you. Uh, have a seat. <laughs> so, uh, we talked, Lane and I, a lot. Did you tell him about Aston? I told him about everything. It has to stop getting worse before it can get any better. So, for now, I've decided to move in with my sister. What about Kim? She'll stay with me. Um, we'll only be a few miles away. LJ will stay with Lane. They need that. Well, good. Lane's a good man, Dr. Foster. Deep down. And he... He really does love LJ. Maybe more now than ever. You know, there's this place a block away. They sell these really decadent and bad for you, sugary, I don't even know what to call them. They're not quite a cupcake, not quite a donut, but they're just to die for. <laughs> <laughs> My treat. I'd rather get a drink. No, really, I would too. Yeah. Let's just do that. Okay. That's great. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 